Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome back to Let's Play Baroque. Let's let's pseudo enjoy this music. I enjoy it. It's really quiet in my ears. It is kind of creepy because it has little baby things, but the rest of it is enjoyable. It'll soon end though, because I'm far enough away from the sanctuary. Huh? There's a little pathway here. Oh, I guess that's the split pathway. But basically, uh, oh. No, I saw it. Where is it? Maybe I was imagining things. The game's making me crazy. Oh, this is a pretty short floor. Stupid neophyte. Do I really need an ice one? I don't need an expo. Uh, uh, maybe rubber coat? Yeah, I don't need rubber coat. I'll take the ice. And there's that stupid trident again. My emulator, or my recording software, I might also be a little tired because I recorded, what, like, eight episodes a day? Joker! Yes, please save. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I might actually, uh, off-camera... Um... Like, just do some... I die runs, where I'm throwing back stuff into the consciousness orbs. But I think the tower shortens if I die. I'm not sure, though. But I think now that I gave Dr. Angelicus the thing, it's... Not so anymore. I think it'll always stay at a certain. What is this? Is a mine? No, it's a flame. I'm fine with that. Shit, I just burnt that heart, didn't I? Yep. <clears throat> oh, that sucks. I really need a burnt heart at this moment. As you can see my vitality is quite full. Alright, well, if I reach a cadre of enemies, I'll run back here. I also have my ice plate that I can put down. If I get near one of those wall hanging turd guys. I already have Hope Wings. Well, they're not any better, because Hope Wings are always the same. They're probably worse. Confusion Bones are helpful. Alright, uh, ice, let's get right here. Place heads. Really, only one shot with ice? Faster sword. The defender is a little slow, which is kind of its downfall, but you get defense with it, so whatever. I mean, there are a few that are a little better, like the crystal sword. I would ultimately want to get like a really high boosted crystal sword, but good luck with that. Also, I have to say, this sword has lasted me longer than most swords I get in the game. I kind of wish there was like a sword that always returned to the top floor, but you could only get one of them. Can't hold box. I'll hold all the boxes I want. And by all the boxes I want, I mean like 16. You fuck. You know what? Box. 
You get out of my inventory for the moment. So these are boom bones. As I just found out, I'm glad I didn't try to eat them. Like 50 hit points, that's pretty crappy. I need to throw this revolution at somebody. How much throwing damage does it do? Doesn't say. I think it actually would hurt me instead. But you know what? We need to stop carrying it because it's a piece of shit. At least it's not like if enemies step on them, they go off or anything. I don't think enemies can use them. Oh, some lovely poison pits. And it really is scenic down here. I don't need this extra on brand. And what else? How much the exposure code do? 85, protectors 80, 50, 50, 75, but I'd rather get two twin boxes than anything else. Oh. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. But I burn a heart. I'll eat your heart when it turns black. That was terrible. Never again. I'm not even a big fan of Nirvana. I got like one of their albums, and it was the only one I liked, and then he died. The end. I knew friends that like weeped and cried. It was like, what the fuck, man? You didn't even know. Why are you even weeping at dead people? People die all the time. Get over it. And now we can pick up Hope Wings. Which undoubtedly are the same thing. Yes. They have a good throwing. Oh no, they're only 50. It's lame. By the way, never throw silver bones at enemies. It's no good. For you. Oh yeah, that was that flame plate I saw earlier. Derp. You know what? Let's go ahead and use this. Much better. I mean, it's only 50, so it's not even a big deal. Hopefully we can kind of, like, <clears throat> go this way and scoop around the back of that room. I'm surprised there's so few enemies in this floor. Uh, we don't need another protector, so you can get out of my inventory. Yeah, because this is a parasitized one. I wish I had a freaking... <clears throat> oh, 
Ta-da! Died in the web. Oh. That's even better. I really want boom bones, because they help kill those guys dead. Oh. I want to know what that parasite is. Unidentified parasites are usually pretty damn good. Let's get rid of the defense for the moment. It's like the least useful thing I have. I don't need wings. Chill out. Dude, he like peace the fuck out. Please don't hurt me. Oh. Shockwave. Shockwave is pretty nice, but I only have one unbrand left and I don't know what the others are. How are you? There you are. You son of a bitch! Get back here. Yes, I hate you. I get it. Kinda looks like I have an upside down devil's face on my butt. Like that atypical, like, Lucifer with the beard, upside down. Either that or a red KKK hood. Can't really decide. Either way, it's evil! Halftime would be very helpful down here. But no matter what, you get the satisfaction of fucking cares. Okay, if you got more wings again, or not. Oh, yeah, because I picked up Shockwave. Derp. I was like, I use those boom bones. Why do I have, like, an extra slot? Or why don't I have an extra slot? Okay, seriously, what is this? My Minecraft tunnels? Yeah, admittedly, I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. Ever since they did the update with potions and shit, I've just been bored of it. I've been a bigger fan of <clears throat> Terraria. Like, that's a game I can, like, get into and play and go back. Although I really hate the fact that you kind of have to play on the mode that drops your items. Because sometimes you just get screwed. Like, there's no way out of it. Especially with action games. Action games have that, like, inevitably you're going to die. Like, I can defeat bosses alright, but then I'll get killed by, like, a skull snake or whatever the fuck they're called. The ones in hell. I'll get killed by them because I get, like, pinned in a corner and he's, like, in the air and won't use a potion. So, or like the potion delay goes on for too long and they're killed by like 10 eaters of eaters of worlds or whatever. Or get mauled by a fucking unicorn. <clears throat> Actually, the correct term should be gored by a unicorn. There's probably nothing in here. It's just like a little, yep. Probably should have just gone up and around, but complicated ways to go around. I find them all. I don't know, there's like weird prerequisites for this game like to get certain baroques which I always thought were a little inane like have your entire inventory full of baroques or full of uh, seraphias or whatever when you like finish the tower or whatever and like 
you know, don't hit a single enemy on your way down. Stuff like that. The best time to do that is like the first time you do the tower, because after that it just kind of sucks. Because like you don't get all the crystal benefits, like of killing enemies, you don't get levels, which is a big freaking deal. These monsters start doing a lot of damage to you. So you need to carry like a ton of health items. The best way to go about it is to literally get 99 invincible bones by cloning. Uh, invincible bones, and then, uh, oh, good, bottom of the tower, 2200, huh? Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna throw my hope wings back then. I also think there's one for dying on this floor by the flame pit thing. They give you a Baroque, but it's kind of stupid if you ask me. Also, inevitably, I won't find anything on this floor, or any monsters for that matter. Alright, where is it? Yeah, I was gonna say, this room can't be a dead end. But you can always tell because the floor is distorted down here. Uh, not like this floor, but when you look in the rooms, you can see that there's like... It's got a mismatched pattern. That's when you know you've hit the bottom floor. So I've gone through like fair amounts of and it levels and all the enemies are like crammed into like two rooms at the end. Ugh. See like this. I think I already just discussed that, but for those of you who've been skipping my earlier videos. Ah yes, here's another consciousness orb. Alright, now the Baghead Kit is full. Yeah, because I think this is Dr. Angelus' laboratory. Like, if you found consciousness orbs that could... No. If you found, like, consciousness orbs that could, you know, talk to God or whatever they do, like... Wouldn't it just be smarter just not to mess with it? Like, just saying. Alright, let's see if we can... Yeah, Collector's a jerk. She could, like, hit consciousness. Why are you hesitating? Erase the Absolute God. With the idea Sephira of the Absolute God, we will create the new world. We will fix this distorted world filled with twisted beings. Now enter the consciousness orb and head for the bottom floor. And we're definitely saving because I will have to test so you might see a repeat of the previous ending. I want a new ending. I think I have to shoot God repeatedly in order to get the tower bigger, but I'm not sure. Because I know at one point he gets off the consciousness orb. The absolute God created multiple divinalities to fill the gap you left and has twisted beyond repair. There is only one way to save the world. Purify the twisted God and use her idea Sephira to create another world. Now, your rifle. Shoot the pain ampule into her. Yep. That's his new solution. Don't go crazy, 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 don't go crazy. Since we saved, let's merge. Don't go crazy, 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 don't go crazy. No! Don't come any closer! Help me! Help 
me. Don't go crazy, 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 don't go crazy
Uh, all there is uh, for me now is to rot away. Except you'll never rot away. It is kind of weird that the world is distorted and is continuously being recreated, destroyed, mm, so on. I see. The Baroque you embody is this. Special Hunter. Maybe I used enough fluids or something? Alright. How very interesting. Perhaps they tried to touch the entity that is also known as the root of the world. Like, for instance, the one at the bottom of the Neuro Tower. From the shape of this crystal, I can almost see through to their passion for the pursuit of truth. Whether or not they were able to reach it. It seems he was conducting some sort of research. But reading the details will be no small feat. The distortion is hindering my ability to discern it. On the way home from school, a girl with empty eyes standing in the corner of the ruins. Alright, and that should be all for him. But I'll take them with me to throw at stuff. Now, let's do what we keep doing. Oh, I guess I did everything with the Your Idea Sephira. Good! Shut up. Good whining. Whiny little bastard. The weird part is that since he's attached to a consciousness orb, the Archangel always knows what happens. In this world, there will be times when you lose sight of what you're supposed to do. But do not worry. This world is changing ever so slightly. The flow is moving. As you are killed, as you die, you will slowly understand. Now, come to the bottom. I always thought it was kind of funny that this is like one of the few games where you have to die to get further. Alright, the vitality coat looks good. So... Yeah, there's no brands on it. Or anything bad. Ooh, rotten bones. Let's save those for when we find the... Uh... Cursebringer Angel. I'll save here. Back to the tower again. Ooh, big ass room. I hear something. Oh, fucking glues. Surprisingly, he gave me a level up. Next time I find one on the ground, I am going to see if, see what my experience is. <clears throat> and then, uh... Go back again and see if uh, they actually give me any experience for stepping on them. I don't think they do, though, because they don't drop crystals or anything. Oh, perfect. Oh, this isn't his room. Alright, here's a glue. I have 19 experience. Jump again, Mr. Glue. Nope. Wow, recovery? So early? Oh, there's the port. Anything else in other directions? One more thing. 
That's convenient. What should they give me? Not much. Maybe five. Ah, this should be as well. When you fuse for the Dabar, I descended into you again. You remember the time we were one. I am merely living in your memories. So. Don't die, for my sake. Don't erase the last me inside you. Don't die. Yep, that's right. Don't die. Dying is bad. I don't know if there's a difference, because nobody wrote like a real ending synopsis. There might be one if you never actually die in the tower. And you complete like the main game if it gives you like a better ending. Oh, sweet. Good, I got a fish. Oh, I got a fish biscuit. I hear you. Oh god, there's so many of you. Yeah, you can stop swinging now. You dirty little glues. Is that all you? I'm good. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm done this way. I always like to make sure you never know when you might find something. I think this time I'm going to shoot God. But that depends if I can. I'm keeping my rifle, no matter what. Hey, no limit. experience bones. I mean, they could be homing bones, because there's a good chance you can get homing bones. But I don't know who specifically drops them. Oh, Eliza's room already. Archangel has weakened. That is because I have borne many consciousness orbs, preventing him from bending the orbs to his will. Alright, so, uh, where are they? I will bear many consciousness orbs, so I can revert to being one. Now you're probably getting the Eliza connection. I mean, in some ways it's a little different because I have, like, meta knowledge of this game. But, you know, I hope it's, it's obvious to you who she is. I'm just saying. If it's not, you'll see more. I mean, the connection's already there, so... 
just because they look similar. Alright, we're done here, and I recovered from poison, so that was a win-win. It'll probably take me around eight, nine people. Like, I'll be either plus eight or plus nine by the time I finish this. Like, at least the, the basic finish. Oh, Curse Bringer. Curse Bringer, I have a gift for you. I have lots of gifts for you. And I'm going to destroy this guy first so he doesn't screw it up. God damn it. Enemies, get the hell away from me while I'm trying to mess with the toy box. I don't know. The best part about a toy box is it's like getting ten things in one, you know? Three bones, Hanobi. He says weird shit around there. You're still not dead? Uh, let's give him two Coriols. Uh, oh, that sucks. What the hell? It's like a bug flying around. It's like landing at awkward parts on me, so it's like... I'm like I think there's something like crawling on me. I mean, technically there is something crawling on me, because it's a freaking bug, but still, like... Annoying. I should start hitting up some enemies with, uh... I'll hold on to that for the moment. Uh... With the rotten meat things. Asbestos, or asbestos, whatever. You know what I mean. I don't know what those imitation wings are. They could be saying really good, or they could be saying bad. I'd rather identify things before. I'll just give them a port bow. Here, how port bow? Shockwave. Thanks. Unknown bones. of pain. The pain of the littles. But they just need to be patient and endure a little while longer. It seems that there's a plan underway to make the littles perish and put an end to their agony. Uh, my sound's getting screwed up again. Maybe I'll do that on myself. I can always unbrand it later. Not a big deal. I don't think they really do anything, the Uman and Thuman. Ugh, I don't like that she's little. I have a tendency not to hit them. I don't really want to waste something that could give me, like, Kenryu on that. Maybe I'll wait till the later floor. Is there anything else in here? Okay. I mean, either way, I could use the experience now, but I could also use the health up now a lot more. Oh, arrows. Yeah. Become stronger when in lust mode. That's what it was. I mean, it's only really useful for, like, what, like, 15 floors total? I mean, you can get, like, Lost Bones and stuff, but... 
If you need code, yeah, my inventory. I'd rather have a seed for the moment. Thank you. See the branding is the resurrect band. That's lame. That's all for this floor. Eh. All right. All right. I have two seeds, neither of which will fill me. So antidote. Good, lots of port bones. I like teleporting all over the place. Alright, good. I'm happy with that. I could give him the Resurrected Eros Shockwave. Yeah, and this is a small floor, might as well get it done. I hope there's an orb soon so I can throw this toy box, because I really don't want anything to happen to it. Especially for how obnoxiously rare they are. It's not that they're, like, hard to get, they're just a pain. Springer, I have a nice tasty peony coat for you. And whatever these imitation wings are, because I really don't care about them that much. Where the hell are you? Why is he always such a pain? Whenever I need him, he's not there. And when I don't need him, he's always there. In my face. Yeah, it's probably better to step on him anyway. I think it helps that the music has like a nice build up before it gets heavy. Although it's kind of hard to focus on the music because, like, to me it's slightly off, but I know exactly what it sounds like. Oh, Marrow. That is nice. Ugh, I'll increase by one. Lame. Sword 13. Is it a glass sword? Maybe. I'll save it in case I find something. Uh, I don't really need either of these. No. Yes, that's much better. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to leave it here and we'll continue in the next episode of Let's Play Baroque with me, Morak Dies. See you later.